How's it going everybody? Austin Carter here with the Techline Leather. I appreciate y'all stopping by this video to check it out. I also want to thank um, all my newest subscribers. Uh, we have just recently passed 500 subscribers and uh, I can't express how thankful I am for that. Um, so thank you all again. Today's video is going to be going over how I dye and paint a fire helmet shield. Um, my last how to make a fire helmet shield video is doing pretty well and some of y'all have a bunch of questions about it so I'd, I thought I'd just continue into a, a different step of how I go about making that those shields and part of that is uh, painting and dyeing. So to begin with um, I start by using Fibings Pro dyes, either like black or brown, um, to paint the, the background of the shield. And I use these dyes because they sit into the leather much better than paint. Um, and so you see here that the first step that I take is basically cutting in the background. Um, I hit all of the borders and kind of like all the tight spaces that are hard to get to. I do all that first and then I come back later and uh, kind of fill in the bigger areas. And uh, I'm using a, just a standard paintbrush. Um, just make sure you get something um, that has just a, a nice point. It helps getting into all those tight uh, nooks and crannies and uh, it, it really helps when you cut in. And then just and then when I fill in all the, the bigger spaces I just use a Q-tip. Um, it tends to do a really good job. It's a little smaller than a dauber um, and it really helps to spread out your dye evenly. Once again I'm using another uh, leather dye. This one's red and this is what I'm going to paint the banners with. If you noticed I've already um, stamped in the letters and I really don't regard, um, or when I when I paint like the banners with letter stamps in them, I, I really am not super careful about getting paint in the uh, in in the letters, um, especially if I know I'm going to paint over them. And uh, later on in this video, you'll see how I do that and why uh, you can get a nice coverage of the the letters or of the banners. Uh, without worrying too much about getting into the leathers. Alright, now for painting the number. Um, I'm just using an EcoFlow water-based paint. Obviously I'm using a white. Um, generally you're going to need to do a couple coats of white just because um, one coat tends to uh, not be enough to, to cover the leather. You'll be able to see the leather kind of bleed through. Um, so generally I do two coats of white, more if necessary. And here for the letters, um, I'm using the um, the paint applicators. Um, I have made a video about this already. You can go find that in my video section. And uh, this is why I say you don't have to really worry about where the the dye goes underneath it because it tends to cover up um, all that really nicely. And so this is after everything's been um, antiqued and uh, and stuff like that. I didn't go over that a whole lot, but um, this has been the painting video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.